d'interview avec uh, quelques participants en Russie. Can you tell us briefly about um, what heaven does specifically in Haiti and what we try to achieve under the U.S. leg of this institution? There was a real need to help improve housing in the country. That people were living in substandard sub housing or dangerous housing. Even a year ahead of the earthquake, we believed that people were living in residences that could be dangerous in a bad weather situation. Never imagined it, never imagined it. That a year to the day that we began Haven would become the most catastrophic event in a century. The houses that we built in advance of the earthquake survived. Subsequent to that, the, the organization Haven decided to build more and faster. And now more than 2,000 houses have been erected. And more than 1,000 other houses have been repaired and made livable. So 3,000 homes, 3,000 families, mothers and fathers, children and grandparents live in houses that we're very, very pleased and enormously proud to have been built by Haven and funded by our patrons and our donors from a dozen countries, the United States and Ireland and elsewhere. So we're very pleased and we're enormously grateful that tonight's turnout has been as effective, has been as full, and has been filled with as much love as the people here at this room who've decided to come here to celebrate Haiti and to make their contribution to Haven and the work that we're doing in your fine country. Lately, you've been involved with the Lavache, which is an island that is uh, earmarked by the government for tourism development. And indeed, in this particular locality, you guys are helping with um, 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 helping out restore um, housing and uh, for the entire population of exactly up to right. 200, uh, 2,500 houses. Okay, elaborate on that. So we believed uh, that Isle of uh, is the next great tourist destination. We believed it when the government believed it. We believed the idea of people flying to Isle of directly from Miami, not stopping at Port-au-Prince, people who were deliberately choosing that Isle of will be their destination. So more than two years ago, the determination was this fine island that was not subjected to issues associated with the earthquake, but over years of bad hurricanes, over, over years of bad rainstorms, needed better housing. We did a house count. It was around 2,400 houses. If you and I went tonight to Ilavash, if we went to Abaca Bay tonight and we walked, we would be walking for days and days because you and I would have to visit 1,090 houses that are fine houses now with new roofs and doors that work and windows that work. We're a little more than halfway done. And between now and summer 2015, there will not be a house on the island of Ilavage that has not enjoyed improvements to make it livable, to make it dry, to make it warm. Every, every single residence on Ilavage will be a better place, and we couldn't be happier. We made a decision, if we're going at all, we help everybody. Helping half, wrong, wrong, wrong process. If we're going, we're all in. We're staying for several years, and we're not leaving that island until every single residence is a comfortable place for a family to raise their children. Tell us really what motivated you to target uh, doing so much work in Haiti. Uh, I, I uh, traveled to Haiti with uh, DigiCell on many, many occasions. And at, at one stage, I uh, was talking with Kenneth O'Brien about six years ago. I said, look, I want to visit some of the schools that the Digital Foundation are building. So I went up to Wanament, but on the way up I saw really endemic poverty. And I always, my wife and myself always at the back of our mind, hey, look, we would like to do something meaningful. And I'm standing looking at the school in Wanament, and I said to uh, the headmaster of the school, could I have some land here? I want to build houses for the very poor people of your country. And that's what it's like. Where would you like to take heaven in terms of contribution to society as a whole? Uh, I set up haven concentrating on Haiti, and it is always going to continue uh, its focus on Haiti. There is so much work to be done there. The level of poverty is, is very, very uh, low, and I must say, the people there are just fantastic. So my wish, and hopefully our, my wife and myself's legacy will be 
that we will have in some small way changed uh, life for some people in Haiti. John Moore, success of Heaven is Haiti today was attributed to a large measure to your efforts. How do you really appreciate uh, this and, and the contribution of Heaven to the Haitian society, the most needed uh, part of the population? Yeah. Well, it, it was nice words that were said, all right, uh, but I, I'm only one of many. All our people in Haven, in Haven in Haiti are Haitians. I'm the only one who's not. So uh, all the work that we do, all the community development we do, all the building we do, are all done by local Haitians. And, and they appreciate that we are with them. Uh, they welcome us into their uh, communities. Uh, we've never had a crossword anywhere. Um, and we enjoy working with them and, and they enjoy us being there. So it's been a great trip for us, uh, you know, we're four or five years on the go now um, and lots more years uh, ahead of us still. We have still a lot of work to do. There's a significant uh, program that brings um, volunteers from Ireland to come from one week. Um, how do they feel about contributing to such a needed uh, population? Our first trip to Haiti was a volunteer trip in 2009 in Monument, where we brought over about 300 people. Now we're down to smaller numbers now, uh, we're down around 40 at the moment, that's what we, it's easier to manage. Um, but they get so much out of the week, and not only do they work hard, they have to raise 4,500 euros, which is over 5,000 uh, dollars, in order to come out here. So even though they're giving up uh, of their, their week, uh, week's holidays, they still have to pay us to do that. And, and it contributes then to our work all year round. But they, they absolutely enjoy it, they love it. They get, we work with the local people when they're here. We don't work on our own. All the local people join in with us and we work in the schools, we work in the offices, we work on the housing, we work on the water. So it's, it's a win-win situation. Eh bien, pour les la nous vient avec nous et Madame Karine Mondé, qui lui-même c'est représentant ministre de sa l'environnement, mais lui-même qui est vraiment affilié dans le département du Sud. Parlez-nous de contribution à tes yeux et pour qui ça que vous-même vous sentez que vraiment présent ce jeudi a aidé à réhausser l'événement ça dans le nom ministère de tourisme, dans le nom Madame Stéphanie et Balmi encore représenté sur les jeudi. Je suis représentant du ministère du Tourisme. Heaven, c'est une organisation qui travaille dans le sud, là, travaille différents côtés en Haïti, mais spécialement, comme nous sommes du sud, il fait partie de programmes qui est dans la vache, qui travaille dans la communauté de la vache, ou qui travaille dans la communauté. Et le ministère du Tourisme a développé la vache, et partie Heaven, là, important pour nous rencontrer avec eux, parce que il y a réhabilité en pile la maison et la vache. Il y a différents programmes sur l'éducation. Et on connaît que le gouvernement travaille très actif pour promouvoir tous les touristes. Mais il va tout faire le café. Ce nous va le crédit dans sa affaire. Qui est encore avec le ministère du Tourisme à moitié. Le travail de la partie sociale là, avec nous, qui est réhabilité, parce que nous ne pas toucher tout le monde pour nous réaménager tout le monde. Donc nous reconnaissons ça à faire. Et nous avons prouvé que nous sommes sur lui. Nous avons continué à faire partie de nous. C'est pour ça que nous travaillons, nous avons encore. Mais nous voulons le tourisme à venir. Nous avons visité comme un bernard. Nous avons entré dans la ville là. Et avec le travail qui à faire, nous avons une partie sociale là pour faire la dedans Donc les visiteurs viennent, nous avons une ville là, visiter, nous avons un caillot, nous avons tout le ville là, qui a recevoir, ce n'est pas seulement chita dans les autres là, parce que pour l'écologie, il y a des gens qui ont visité l'île là, et il y a des programmes de social business qui ont mis en place. Ce sont des entrepreneurs qui voulaient, des jeunes qui voulaient faire travail, ce sont des gens qui ont avec l'économie. Ce n'est pas seulement qui ont été dans les autres là, mais des gens qui ont des opportunités pour marcher, pour le compte de ce qui est là, ils voilà, mes téléspectateurs, Image Sayo, contingent contribué à montrer nous vraiment le travail que Haven a fait en dedans pays d'Haïti. Non seulement que aider au point de vue et caille que vous bâti, mais également vous apprenez nous nous des traits pour capable vraiment améliorer les conditions de vie. Donc c'est une soirée de fundraising qui était très réussi, en pile monde participé, de gagner auction qui peut plus l'argent toujours, et même auction et vraiment promouvoir et hospitalité que Haïti gagne. Donc c'était vraiment une soirée très réussie. Donc depuis trois saisons de hôtel et Wicker Avenue, c'était Jean-Aubert Philippe pour Alain TV. Bonsoir.